we've all had bad cat six cable where the cable uh, either splits somewhere or gets cut um, or the ends don't work properly the little plastic tab on the top uh, sometimes gets broken off again these are cheap plastic so just a few seconds that's broken you can't really get it in and out and so what do you do here do you throw these away I'm going to show you today just a really quick, simple method to solve your problem and be able to get a new end piece on there. And so this is for Cat6 RJ45. Here are the tools that you're going to need to complete this project. The first thing you're going to need is a stripper. Um, this will strip back the, uh, the end piece. You are going to need a crimping tool. This is a pass-through crimping tool. This is a tester, pair of scissors, the pass-through connectors, heat shrink wrap, and gun. I do prefer to put heat shrink wrap over the uh, crimped piece because it just really does help keep it uh, together and last a little bit longer. So the first thing you're gonna do is get a pair of scissors and you're just gonna cut the end off pretty close to where it was at. And uh, that will just get you a good start right there. And we're gonna show you how to strip that back in one second. That end is cut. You are gonna wanna verify to make sure it is cat six. And the next thing you're gonna do is, this is a stripping tool. And what you're gonna do is, I always put it in about an inch. This gives you maybe an inch and a half, gives you a little more space. This one does have a knob on the top to turn it up or down. And so you don't even really have to squeeze, you just go around a couple of times and uh, lift up, and then you pull that jacket off. Uh, Cat6 has a couple of different ways that they are put together. Some of them just have this kind of like nylon string in it. Um, other ones have like a plastic insert. It's really important to have scissors here. You can cut that off. Um, you want to cut it pretty much as close to the base as possible. And that will just help kind of clean everything up. And the next part is kind of the most time consuming, I would say, and it is unraveling all of these cables. And so each one of the color sets has a white and a solid. So you have a total of eight cables and you just keep spinning it. Um, I've seen people do this with like pliers and some different things before in the past. Um, some different friends have done some different kind of weird things. I think it just makes the most sense to keep the wires as kind of just as good as possible to keep them straight. And so you go through all four sets. I know it takes a while. Again, this is tedious, but uh, it will save you uh, some money and you won't have to run really long cable if you're running, I guess you can run up to like just over 300 feet of this uh, Cat6 cable um, if you're having to make a new terminal. And then the next kind of is the weird thing is you just kind of pull back and forth and pull straight. Because what the goal of this is, is you are going to be putting all of the cables, all the cords, all of it through this and then this little tool right here crimps it as it passes through and it crimps and it cuts off the end so i'm going to show you how that works in just a second um, but there is a particular order there's a couple of different ways um, you can order these and again i'm just kind of working these kind of tight slash loose um, i do prefer to make them a little bit longer than some people do i think it just helps make it kind of flat fanned out a little bit better and so i like to do the b format in the b format you do orange white you do orange white orange green white and as you're doing this just kind of keep pulling them together because it kind of is a weird order you think it would just be all solid colors uh, but that's not actually how that works um, other than you do blue solid uh, then blue white and again you're just kind of making these things go straight as you're doing it and it really will help you out and uh, then you get green in there again this is not like the perfect order if you've never done this before this may seem really strange why the color order is as strange as it is and uh, then you do brown white and uh, then brown and then typically once I have all of these, I double check and that's orange, white, orange, green, white, blue, blue, white, green, brown, white, brown. And then the next thing I do 
is I just try to clean it up a little bit. So you just take a little bit off. And then this is really important. You're gonna put the clip down. So that's number one, that's number two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you're gonna go ahead and start pushing that through. Now I do have a pretty long piece of heat shrink wrap. It is very wide, but it reduces down drastically. So I probably should have put that on first because if you have a really tight one, this one does a really good job of heat shrinking uh, really big into small. Uh, but yeah, you will want to put that on first. And then you just start pushing this down until you really can't push it anymore. You don't want to like really cram it on there. Um, and then this is the last time I check all my wires. And look, I messed up. It's partly to show you. The green, uh, white, and orange got mixed up, which does happen. That's why you don't just go straight to crimping it. Um, but you do keep checking these as you do it. Um, and sometimes when you cut it and things, sometimes they do move around a bit on you. Again, you're going to push it down pretty far. And remember to test all of your wires to make sure. And look, messed it up again. So that can really happen pretty easily. Um, it's just the way it kind of goes. And again, you're just going to want to double check all of those wires and what happens when you kind of push them together sometimes they do mess up and so before you go to start crimping make sure make sure make sure you're in the right order and again twisting it back and forth like this it's kind of an up and down motion does really kind of help get those seated really well but I am glad it kind of messed up a couple of times because that's going to be really important for you guys to see. And so that is correct now. All the way down. And this is kind of the hard part. There's two different sides and sometimes you might get confused. Easiest way to see it is that this has to go in and through and then that little latch piece goes on. And watch how easy. You're just pressing down it cuts all of them and crimps it at the same time. And you can see where that crimped it in right there. Perfect. That's what you want. You want to see that crimped into that. And then you go ahead and take your heat shrink. And I like to kind of put it up and over this. And that right there will give you just a great connection for the future. Um, do you want to show you this tester as well? Um, it works really easily. You have to put it in the right side. Um, but then this one in the correct side. There are um, RJ11s as well. And then the thing is, you just turn it on. It will start sequencing through to make sure all of your cables are correct. And so there's all eight of them. As it goes down, that means you are good. That cable is ready to rock and roll. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope this helped you. Uh, please like and subscribe if you have not. That's how you fix a uh, broken or if you just need to cut it off and start a new one. Um, I can put heat shrink wrap on them. It just helps them to not get as wobbly. Uh, but again, if this helped, please like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching today.